What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am currently driving a ProMaster. Whose ProMaster may this be? Might you ask? Sarah Shamblins. If you saw last week's video, yesterday's video, moved into Sarah's van with her for five, seven days-ish. Hold on, let me get this turn. We're heading out to absolute middle of nowhere to jump a waterfall with a bunch of my friends that are out here, go to some hot spring, just be out in nature and away from cities for a while. We've been in cities for a long freaking time. We're also working our way back down to my ambulance down in Southern California. It's in San Bernardino right now. I've been complimenting Sarah because she hasn't yelled at me one time for my reckless driving in her van, which mind blown by because usually any everyone yells at me if I'm driving their vehicle because I kind of just drive a little crazy. So I was pushing the limits and seeing where she draws the line, <laughs> we found it out. She's okay with my swerving and my speeding. Like on turns, I always cut into the other lane and she hasn't complained about that. But when I do this, it's- <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know I'm still going straight enough, I feel like I'm just gonna smash a tree. I feel like that's reasonable, you know? But that's where she draws the line, because I think I draw the line there too. But anyways, uh, it's almost midnight. We got like another half hour to go. It was a four hour drive. We only fought a few times on the drive, but we'll be there soon. Gonna go pass out, wake up in the morning, go hit some hot springs and jump off to a waterfall, hopefully. We'll pick back up whenever we park. All right, Sarah's up in her little palace with Toby, and I'm going to construct myself a little sleeping palace of my own. Oh, but now that I put the swivel seat in here, it's taller than the other one. I'm gonna have to do some extra engineering here. Oh, I need to just fill the gap between there and the Death Valley, and I will be Gucci. Oh yeah, baby. Blanket. <laughs> All right, Sarah has no cell service on her phone, but I have pretty good bars. So I'm gonna sit here and scroll loudly on Instagram reels and TikTok while she sits there with her own thoughts. Okay. Night. Gotta stay on the same schedule. We do gotta stay on the same schedule. <laughs> <sighs> All right, good night, Tubbs. Night, roommate. Night. See you in six hours. 12.22. So five hours and 48 minutes. You look cozy, dude. I am very cozy. Yes, I even got like an unnecessary extra pillow over here. Just because just she had it. Oh, actually, oh, not that bad, I gotta say. Oh, I gotta turn this light off. There we go. Okay. Lights. Ha, ah, yeah. Oh, you got a candle? Kind of creepy. Yeah, you mind blowing that? What? You mind blowing it out? There we go. <laughs> All right, then. Hasta la mañana. Good morning. I just woke up at this lake. A couple of my friends are parked over on the other side. They're heading over to some hot springs that are nearby, so we might go meet up with them for a little bit. Potentially head to a big waterfall jump after that. But right now, I need to take a walk over to little boy's room. Right over there. Of course, it's like all the way around the lake, whichever way I go. Stupid. I picked a dumb place to park. Heading over to the hot springs. We got Lumberjack Sarah coming with us. She's gonna chop down a tree and teach us some survival techniques along the way. We have made it to the hot springs. This one is the hottest of all of them. And then as you go down the mountain, it goes all the way down to the river and they get progressively cooler as you go down. You can pick whatever temperature you want. There's that one, one there, one there, one over to my left that people are in. This one, one, two, three. And then there's one way at the bottom down there. But I'm gonna go get in the super hot one. I came all the way down to the river because there's one more hot spring all the way at the bottom that not a lot of people go to. It's not the hottest one, but it's cool because it's in like a little cave and it's right next to the actual river. So I might plop my body down in this freezing cold water and then hop into the hot spring. All the rage these days is cold plunges. Who would we be if we didn't join the fad? <laughs> I don't even want to touch it. I swear to God, if you push me, I'm Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> oh my god. So. I probably like went up in like one second. <laughs> Yes, you did. I was up shortly. <laughs> well, we did something that we both didn't want to do. Let's do it again. What? Honestly, yeah, let's do it again. She's just saying that for camera. No, I'm not. And I then she's going to be like, hey, Brandon, post the same clip of me doing it again and act like it's two different times. <laughs> Proud of us. Whole bunch of little bats in here and they're making a bunch of squeaks. I'm sorry, guys. I will let you go. I'm trying to get a nice shot of Sarah and the nature is sitting here getting in the shot. Finished up at the hot springs. Sarah's searching for her phone frantically all over the van. We're heading over to another spot to meet up with my friends. They were leaving the hot spring as we were showing up. So we're gonna go meet up with them. Toby, you're the star of the show. Everyone wants to know, what is Toby thinking right now? <laughs> Look at him just cowering away. What are you doing? Where are you going? All right, we just pulled up to the next spot. It's a spot my friends have been scoping out the last few days. Really tall bridge and an even taller cliff next to the bridge. I'm currently just wearing my boxers, so I'm gonna keep the camera up higher for you guys. I'm walking out of the bridge. I'm gonna scope it out while I eat some pistachios. Yo! 80 to 84 feet, depending on if you jump from the railing or the concrete. And I haven't jumped anything big in quite a while, so I don't think I'm gonna jump it. Just dropped a cashew off the bridge. It's a gorgeous spot either way. So they're depth checking right now. Reagan is depth checking with no wetsuit, and this water is freezing. Uh, not really jumpable for, for me at least. He said it's only about 10 feet deep and that's like a 90 foot jump over there. Who do we have here? It's me, your best friend, Sarah. Hey, and Sarah Toby. and Toby. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, he scraped my leg bean. So Toby's a little scared right now. He's afraid of heights. Toby, Toby, come, come here, come here. Over the ledge. Okay, come here. There we go. Now we're good. We're away from the big scary drop. Well, we found out Toby is deathly afraid of heights. <laughs> I feel like most dogs don't understand what heights even are. <laughs> get back into your safe space. Yeah, get up there where it's safe. All right, I'm not feeling like cooking anything. All right, I'm not feeling like cooking anything. So I'm gonna eat just yogurt because I'm just lazy and it's fast. So I'm just gonna eat yogurt because I'm just lazy and it's fast. And I'll catch you guys after, because after that I'm just gonna go edit. And I'll catch you guys after, because after that I'm just gonna go edit. <laughs> Keeping all of that in there. <laughs> this is what happens when both of, when two people who are hanging out every second of the day vlog. Are we vlogging here or are we vlogging here? I, I don't, don't know. know. All right, we're back from climbing. No, what were we doing? So, we were walking on a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> this big old pipe is gonna burst one day. It's not looking too hot. All right, we're gonna head down and check out this giant log. May be jumpable, may not be jumpable, depending on how crazy the water is. And then maybe a new spot that they found. Allegedly, we are coming back at nighttime to jump the waterfall. Do the gnarliest mission so I've ever done. Worst <laughs> idea ever. Added to our list of terrible ideas we always have, but this one might really take the cake. It's a cool opportunity though. You know, you can't just pass up this type of opportunity and you'll see why. Very, very unique opportunity, but not ideal. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some practice during daylight instead of doing this super dangerous mission at night. But We'll see how it goes later. I might, I might chicken out. We'll see. We have made it to the log. Well, it sounds very loud down there, so it's not sounding yeah, promising it right sound now. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, this a hundred percent goes. All right. Well, luckily it's not flowing as hard as they said it was yesterday. This looks like it goes. I haven't been here for like two years since I flopped it really bad. It was my worst flop I've ever had cliff jumping. Where's the chest? I thought I cracked my sternum. Like one day that thing's gonna break. <laughs> you know? If you look at it from the bottom right now, it's like almost hollow. All right, we're back at the log and I found a little deer bone that I'm gonna give to Toby. I think he'll be happy with that. I found a deer bone for Toby. Oh, Toby will love it. I feel like he'll, yeah, I will like that. All right, we're crossing this one more time. All right, we're bushwhacking our own trail to try to find some smaller jumps to warm up on. Yeah, we saw this from up there. See this waterfall off the side? Yeah. No way. Oh, 
All right, we just jumped a small cliff. This one's a few feet bigger. Solid little 30 footer. All right, I have to cut the cliff jumping portion of this video short because we ended up working with a huge production team with about a half million dollars worth of camera gear and lighting equipment. And we can't post any of the footage from this whole night until they post in a couple months. So that video will come further down the road. But for now, we're gonna skip to the next morning when Sarah and I continue fighting and getting back on the road. Cut your seatbelt on, brand done. All right, we just left the campsite and now we got a two hour drive to Klamath Falls from the waterfall. And we're gonna go to Planet Fitness and shower because it has been days since we have showered. We're filthy, except more so her than me. I'm clean, because I jumped in the waterfall. She's just been cooking. <laughs> I went to the hot springs. Yeah, that was days ago we went to the hot springs. That is not true, that was literally yesterday. We had to stop in 50 or 45 minutes. Why? Because oh. you have to hit your premiere. can drive 45 minutes and then I have to do a YouTube premiere and then another hour and 15 minutes to Klamath Falls to go to Planet Fitness to shower because she's stanking. Then we're gonna go unknown amount of hours after that south. Let's go. Time lapse engage now. <laughs> this thing up than my ambulance. 62 bucks. Although it wasn't a completely empty tank, but still much better than my 200 plus dollar Phillips in the Ambo. What is this? Oh, everything. <sighs> she knows I'm gonna eat the whole bag. And I got myself a gas station taquito. What kind? Yes. I think I, <laughs> I think I ate some paper on that one. I have no idea. They all taste the same. <laughs> I do. It's like a pepper jack cheese. Oh, I was gonna say Monterey Jack cheese. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Off to Shower Town, baby. <laughs> Planet Fitness and Toby. <laughs> What's that, huh? I can't do anything for yours, this is a remote chicken. But did, wait, did it make that noise when her thing did it? Yeah, hers just says welcome and then it tells me how long she's not checking. Oh. oh. I have it. <laughs> I was in Bali, okay? <laughs> how long has it been? 117 days? 117 That's not days? true though, I came here. To this one specifically or to? I've never been to this one. It just says no check-in and stuff. Damn, you've been slacking in the gym. I, mean, I only come to shower. So Sarah hasn't been to the gym in 117 no, days, no which sense. also means that she hasn't showered in about 117 days. So she is filthy. I forgot my freaking towel. I had to use my hoodie to dry myself off. Took my time in there. I really wasn't rushing at all. And uh, guess who's still not at the van? Let's take guesses on how long we'll be waiting for Sarah. She's gonna be in there for like another 20 minutes. Hi, Toby. Oh, Toby. It's just you and me now. Come on, get up on the seat. Finally, just some boy time, you know? Finally get, finally get, just like, we get to bro down, you know? You know what I'm talking about? No more Sarah, just you and me. That's what I'm talking about. Put her here. Put her here, that's right. That's right. So now it's just, uh, this is mine and Toby's Pro Master now. I'm sorry everybody on Sarah's channel, but I'm taking over. Right, right Toby? Speak, speak. Toby, I have a surprise for you. Guess what I got for you? I left a little bit of steak from my burrito last night to give it to Toby. Sit down, okay. Jan, to <laughs> Jan, there we go. Sit. We're gonna take this gently. <laughs> that's all I got, I'm sorry. That's all there is. Look, you can check, there's nothing in there. There's juices, but that's it. There's nothing, okay, that's it. Heck yeah, Toby. Pound, pound. No, that's, that's you're supposed to pound it. Here, yeah. I am just gonna make a little baby wrap. Literally just a salad wrap. I don't feel like anything else to put in here. Quick little snack, just to get me back on the road. All right guys, Sarah finally made it back and I started a timer when I got out of Planet Fitness just to see how long it would take her. 
And it only took her 32 hours, 59 minutes, and 30 seconds to what? to get out of Planet Fitness, which is typical. Back on the road we go. We got another four hours to go until we get to Reno. And from there, I don't know what the plan is. Comment the time. Put your seatbelt on. Uh-huh, yeah, how's it feel? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't like it when you do that. Do what? That. What? When I just ask you to just, hey, can you just, if this was harmless, can you flip the car around yeah, so I the agree. door's facing I this agree. way? What? Can I please finish? <laughs> Turning the van around made you want to cry? No, this, this conversation makes me want to cry. Oh, okay. Okay, I don't know what to be out. Boy time over here. We're gonna pee on this tree together. My road trip snacks are usually muddy buddies for like the junk food stuff. Hi. Hi. <laughs> See guys, we're friends. <laughs> I think I snotted on you. I got a runny nose, I got really bad allergies out here. Where? It's like, there's a couple drops in there somewhere. No! Oh, back on the road we go. I want juice. Guess what, we ain't got no juice. So sit your ass down and let's <laughs> Here we go again. Do we have one more orange juice in there? Oh, God damn, I just sat down. I, we, I think we don't have any, but maybe it's worth a look. Chug a beer, there's a beer in there. Mm. Chug your, maybe I don't want her to chug a Red Bull right now. See, I told you we had plenty of juice left. This is all for her. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that's so good, though. Take it. I no, can't... you keep giving me the, the backwash. Last little bit backwash. Okay, why don't you drink some and then give me the backwash? Because this is already backwash. <laughs> Just drink it, Brandon. <sighs> Be grateful that I didn't... Here, now you get the back backwash. <laughs> now, are you still craving juice, or was that enough juice to quench your craving of juice? I think I could go for another juice. Mm, of course. Um, It's been six days. Some may say six days too many. No, I'm having a good time. Mm. It didn't feel like six days, it feels like two days. And that's how you know you're just best friends. Three and a half more hours to go until we get to Reno. Bing, bang, boom. <laughs> Toby, come here, you gotta pee. I know you do. Oh, good jump. Go pee in the rocks. We've driven about six and a half hours today and we are in Reno, Nevada. Just pulled up to good old Applebee's. Fancy like Applebee's on a date night. Got to Bourbon Street stay with the Oreo shake. It's some... Sarah's just been getting way too much camera time so I decided that I'm gonna cut her out for the rest of the vlog. Food has arrived. Time to stuff our faces and then get back in the van and drive somewhere farther south. All right, we are back in the van. Sarah is walking over right now. Me and Toby are just chilling. I got the heat cranking because it was about negative three, lots of like neg lots of negative degrees, freezing cold inside of Applebee's. Hands are like frozen from being in there. Let's go. You're driving now. Oh, I am. I think yeah. I'm gonna edit while you drive. I've been sitting next to him this whole time that he's been driving, and now as I drive, he's gonna freaking leave me. Here's the reason. She gets car sick in a matter of two seconds if she's not sitting in the front seat while I'm driving. And that sounds like a Sarah problem, not a Brandon problem. I can hang out in the back, edit, and I might as well make the best use of my time and be very efficient. While she's driving to the next destination, I'm gonna sit back there and crank out a video because daily videos are hard to do, and I need to spend my time editing, unlike her, pumps out one video a year. So you guys should feel really special because he chooses you over hanging out with me. That's right, because you guys are the real ones. We finally found a place to park. We're like an hour or so south of Reno. We're at a pretty high elevation right now. There's snow and it's freezing and we've been up editing for hours and hours and hours. Two o'clock in the morning. I think we got to this spot at like nine. Five hours of editing at this spot. 
I'm gonna have to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is our last night together, and then she can finally boot me and Sparta kick me out the door. We'll be making it to my ambulance tomorrow, but I'll pick up with a video tomorrow of that. But I'm finishing up the video that you're watching right now. I'm about to construct my bed, pass out, and I guess tomorrow, the last final stretch, it's like six hours to my ambulance, and then no more Sarah, no more fist fights, no more of the Pro Master gauntlet. Thank you guys for watching. Shit. Don't forget get don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. He's he's okay. Shit. I spent seven days with him. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be seven days tomorrow. Seven days tomorrow. And I'm still okay with you subscribing to this channel. That says a lot. Toby says bye, but he's also he's pooped out. Too much editing. Okay. Peace.